Hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. This video is all about uh, a cool trick, a cool sound effect that you can hear on the records from the likes of Boards of Canada, Tycho, and many, many, many more. And actually is the sound of like tape degradation. Uh, also better known as, or also known as the woe and uh, the woe and flutter effect, if you see what I mean. So it's really easy to replicate in any piece of software. Um, Logic has all it takes for doing so. And I'm gonna, sh gonna show you how it works into Logic. So first I would, like to, uh, I would like you to hear a texture that I made for Omnisphere a few years ago. So you hear what it's gonna do to the, um, to the audio afterwards. Okay, that's the dry sound. And this is what I came up with. So you see what I mean now? Uh, it's really, really easy to replicate with only uh, stock effects in Logic Pro 10 or even 9 if you want, because all these plugins here are also part of Logic Pro 9, just for your information. But so here's how it works. First, I took a bit crusher uh, to simulate like the tape hiss effect. And that's really, really, really simple to do. You put the resolution. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it, you know, from scratch, so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So, here's a big crusher with everything uh, set back to normal. You know, drive to zero dB, down sampling to one uh, one time, so there is no down sampling, nothing. And the clip level is to zero dB. Um, Let's hear the track and let's gradually add some uh, tape, uh, well, some hiss to the, uh, to the incoming signal. So you see, it's a little bit too much. You will have a little bit of degradation too. It's not exactly what you're looking for. So you have to reduce the mix level, you know, let the dry signal be the dominant one in this case. So you, you hear a, le uh, a lot less of that hiss. Okay, perfect. Secondly, uh, this is optional, but I, um, I put a noise gate on there. So uh, you can see here, uh, just a slight noise gate with uh, a very long release, a hold, etc., etc., etc. Just a personal, uh, just a personal taste, but you don't need to do that. Okay, just uh, keep that in mind. You might want to, uh, to put a, a noise gate on top of that. And uh, thirdly, and that's the most important part, this is the tape delay. So, the tape delay is the perfect companion um, when it comes to making this kind of effects. Especially since you know that when setting the feedback to zero and the delay time to zero, uh, the tape had to clean, you can really simulate uh, the, the the tape machine effect. Uh, the most important parts are here, these four guys below, if you see them, and uh, also um, 
the equalizer here. Well, this is not this is like a low and high pass filter that we're gonna use. So you set the dry signal to zero, of course, the feedback to zero, the delay time. If you are in tempo sync, you disable it and you put the delay time to zero milliseconds. Very very important in this case. Uh, tape head mode to clean, or else it it won't work. Um, the clip threshold, so that's um, the threshold, well, the, the output signal, the input signal, sorry about that, uh, from which your, uh, your incoming audio will start clipping, which is not necessarily something you want, but that's something that's also really pleasing to the ears, especially in this case. Um, of course, I put my signal, well, my low cut to 100, 150, 200 dB, and the high cut is the most important part here as we have to roll off the uh, high frequencies. On top of that, I just uh, use the modulation, LFO intensity, 50% to begin with, LFO rate depends on your on your taste. And let's, let's try that just with uh, those settings. I, I will not uh, enable the, the flutter for now. And just, let's just uh, hear this and just compare the signal to the, uh, to the uh, dry one. That's great. Um, let's add some flutter now. So flutter is going to add some some more modulation on top uh, at very random places, which is what I like about it. So don't overdo it, or else it will sound a bit fake too. Let's hear it. So let's go back to the uh, dry signal. And on top of that, well, let's uh, add uh, all the effects gradually. That's it, as simple as that, actually. Hope you liked this video. Hit the subscribe button if you uh, did, and eventually the bell button 